always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, taking a live look at downtown Miami right now. We're enjoying a nice, comfy stretch of dry air, and things should stay calm, at least for now. Well, we like the sound of that, but not so much this, because the same cannot be said for the tropics. They're heating up. We're seeing lots of activity out in the Atlantic, including newly formed Tropical Storm Lee. So let's kick things off now with Next Weather Chief Meteorologist and Hurricane Specialist Ivan Cabrera. Ivan, this is the latest as of 5 p.m., right? Yeah, just came in for the National Hurricane Center. Absolutely. Now the depression to Depression 13, which formed earlier today, rapidly, uh, you know, getting organized here already at a tropical storm status. This is going to be a powerhouse of a hurricane here. I have to tell you, next a few days could be the strongest hurricane so far this season. The conditions are going to be favorable for that, which is why the steering currents are going to be very important and right now look to favor us with the deflection to the north. So let's talk about it. There is Lee now over the open Atlantic, not bothering anyone right now, but it is going to continue to gather strength. Current sustained winds at 45 miles an hour. It is moving west, northwest at 16. That's again from the newly, uh, you know, devised uh, advisory from the newly formed advisory here. Look at this track here 70 mile an hour winds. We have a category two by the time we get into the end of the week, and it is just jumping categories here. 145 mile an hour hurricane forecast by the National Hurricane Center. Aggressive stuff, but really all the models are locking in on this. Look at the movement west to the northwest. If you extrapolate this out, I know this looks frightening for Florida. Up, but it isn't. It shouldn't be because I do think this is going to have a very good chance of turning to the north, and we'll talk about why. But because it's going to be a Cat 3 to Cat 4, the proximity to the islands, because it's such a strong storm, is going to provide them with at least tropical storm conditions by the time we get into the hours there of Saturday night and into Sunday. So we'll watch that closely. By the way, that includes uh, the island of Puerto Rico. Thereafter, this is what's going to happen right now. It's riding the southern flank of high pressure. Remember clockwise there, so that is going to be moving it and guiding it to the west northwest. That we certainly know. What I think will happen, and most of the models are locking in on, is this jet stream this dip in the jet stream that will arrive just in time for us by early next week and that should guide the system after this weekend to the north now a lot can change but this is right now what all the computer models are showing here and we're feeling pretty good about it if that changes you'll be the first to know so lee has formed it's headed west northwest that big turn is expected early next week right now not a threat to us so we're looking at pretty good and again, we'll let you know, obviously, every step of the way as it closer, particularly to the islands heading into the weekend. 